Okay, um, this tutorial will cover what's new in the uh, 5e framework uh, for map tools um, and some other stuff that wasn't really clear on the last uh, tutorial I made. So I'm using map tools version 1.6.1 and um, and frame, this framework version is 2.4 um, first of all uh, I didn't mention it in the other tutorial uh, set teams to RT flat default green um, this will make uh, these windows and these windows to fit inside the the bottoms, uh, the bottom sizes, and the text fields will fit in the window properly. Um, another thing um, in the preferences, uh, use tooltip for inline rows must be checked because some of the features need it. Um, and that's it. Um, I will start a server. Um, put a password, and a GM password. 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 Make a better password than this, please. This is just for the tutorial. Um, select use UPnP. Um, I like to have strict token ownership I selected and um, these ones I don't like to be selected because for me uh, I experienced um, performance issues um, considering this framework is kind of heavy so I like to have them unselected um, Use individual field of view. I like to uh, not field of view, just view. Focus for. I like to have these selected so the players will see just their tokens. What their tokens see. Um, allow players to impersonate any token. This is whatever. Uh, this one is important. Uh, players receive campaign macros. So these menus. Uh, for the players to be able to see them, you have to have them selected. Uh, have this selected, and I like to have this one selected too. I I think it's important. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Um, other things about the interface. Uh, you will need to have open the chat, uh, the campaign window, the GM window, if you're the GM, uh, the selected window, this one here. Uh, the impersonate is not necessary, but I like to have it here. The initiative, it's important. Um, the library it's it's a little important you so you don't have to open it all the time every time you need a new content to create um, connections I like to have you have it open for to see who is connected um, um, Yeah, and that's it. Um, and in the player window, I just don't open the GM, but I do use the global to custom dice rolls and stuff like that. So 
the server is open I will connect to server I will search for the framework here put the password uh, password okay yeah uh, since I'm in the same machine I will just use the local server but for your players you can use this one okay so this is what the player will see I like to have the this ribbon hidden to get a little bit more space um, Oh, um, there is this settings menu here uh, and you can from here um, paste uh, uh, URL to the rules by default it is it's the basic rules but if you if you subscribe to d and beyond or you have your own content somewhere you can paste uh, the link here uh, with the basic rules it will if the players open this menu and click rules it will open this link it will paste this link and the player can open it and it will show the content you can have uh, your, your custom where uh, resources here welcome message it's this message here it uses um, uh, markdown syntax um, you can have whatever you like uh, rules um, instructions um, uh, homebrew rules link to your discord or um, that kind of stuff um, this will I will cover later in this video and this I will change in the future so I will make a video more in depth when I when I do it um, a new feature that I add, added is sound on the dice rolls so if you want to change it you can change it here uh, you can set it to none if you don't like the, no the noises okay so it will make no sound or you can set to uh, the GM to self and the PC to all so you you will hear your dice rolls but the player will not and and here the player will hear the, their rolls and everyone else's rolls and so will the DM uh, these sounds are can be started on the cloud or they should be started on the cloud mine are in the dropbox and i will be leaving this by default so everyone can use but if you make your own you can paste them here and if you think 11 sounds are too much you can delete um, them they are separated by commas so you can change it here um, the problem with sounds is they must be loaded to the memory so every time you roll it will roll it will load it to the RAM and it it may make it slower but once the all the sounds are loaded it will load really fast um, if you don't want to wait to them to load you can set to known and not use the sounds I just like them so I leave it like this uh, and it, it will be like this by default 
Um, create a new content. Um, if you want to uh, uh, let's let's give this to a player. Uh, you could use uh, the character creation wizard, but I already explained this in the, my previous video, and nothing changed. And I, and I plan to change it in the future, so I will not cover this. I will make a character by hand, so click new PC. It will set the character player as PC. It will uh, set up the macros and you can open the character sheet from here. Uh, let's give him a name. Uh, Okay, so um, I will use a standard array just to make it quick. Fifteen um, fourteen thirteen. Um, I have a PDF of the basic rules here. Uh, my character is going to be a bard, level 1, it's type d8, charisma as a spellcasting ability. Okay, background is going to be... Uh, one step at a time, right? Uh, so he's a bard. This one is already loaded because it's in the SRD. This is another new addition, sources. Um, so bards receive um, Bardic Inspiration uh, Bardic Inspiration Oh, uh, another Another new feature is Add from List So I can copy this and paste it here uh, just be sure to spellcast it hard. Um, okay, and they will all be added. The level one, this is not really important, but at the higher levels, this may be useful. Um, also, Bardic Inspiration, once within the next 10 minutes, uh, so... Mm. Equal to, okay, here, um, your Charisma Modifier, so they have Oh, they, um, they have, for now, um, Bardic Inspiration, uh, they have two for now, and it resets at Long Rest, okay, so this will, this is, this counter will keep track of Bardic Inspiration, you can put, um, Lay on hands from the paladin or rage from barbarian, uh, key from the monk, whatever you like. 
um, and spell casting is already set um, on or, or not uh, yeah they, they need spell slots so parts at level one have two spell slots okay um, so he is he is a uh, let me say a folk hero so um, we don't have folk hero in the SRD so I'll have to cre create one. He's a folk hero. Okay. Um, folk hero have this uh, this feature. I can copy it. Add it new. Paste it. Folk hero, uh, root hospitality. Uh, you don't have to uh, remove these spaces like this because um, in Markdown it will only recognize uh, a new line if you put two spaces. So it's okay to leave as is. Uh, sources, it's in the player handbook okay so oh yeah um, you should have this this is a class feature so is this and this and this is from the background um, I also like to copy this uh, a little bit of um, Markdown editing This is the player handbook Okay You can add more stuff like tables and um, suggested characteristics but oh yeah the player cannot use it but the GM can so I should probably change it Uh, but these informations are not important. All you need to know is uh, this here. So he is proficient in animal handling and two proficient uh, survival. And they are proficient with one artisan tool, so um, tools, let's say builder supply and vehicles. And 
um, they receive a couple of equipments so a set of artisan tools brewer supply um, a shovel an iron another way to add yeah let, let let's do that way uh, iron pot Focus pouch pouch containing ten GP ten. Um. Okay, he he already have a background. Uh. Oh, bar. Uh, I forgot. Uh, so as a bard. Oh, let's give him a race first, so... Races... Oh, races are all... Races are all here. Oh, variant human, human are not, so... Um, yeah, no, he he will be a default human for now. It's easier. I already explained how to. Right, this is from race. I already explained it how to create. So let's get over as a human. Ability score is plus one, plus one. You could uh, just type 14, but I like to leave it like that in case something happens. Like um, if you drink a potion of uh, strength, giant strength, you can leave the default value intact and for when the, the effect is gone um, or something like that he has three inspirations now because his charisma is 13 is 16 so let's change it age alignment Let's give him an alignment. Good. Okay. Um, size is already set. Speed. 13 feet. So. Okay. Languages can you can speak. Color. And one extra language, let's say Elvish. Um, does he get no, no ex extra languages, right? Yeah. Also, as a so, okay. The human attributes are all right. Um, bard. He has um, hit points um, eight plus two ten. Let's uh, you can show HP bar here, so it will show this bar up here. Um, Oh, bards have uh, saving throws, dexterity, and charisma. Mm, and three skills from anyone or any of that. Uh, I will take whatever, it's not. 
important it's just for the tutorial okay mm. and he has one hit dice available let's give him a weapon uh, another way to add equipment is from here you can click here and search or press F11 so okay. I will give it to him one. and um and a leather armor um, so he get uh, 11 plus dex armor and it will calculate the plus 2 and here's his armor um, race human okay uh, you can just to be more complete um, backgrounds is a folk hero let's pick one at random so Okay. Um, D six six. Um, don't um, don't change this field because it will apply to the ideals if you change it it will not apply so okay um, so three and four three give him a description I'm already taking more time than I desired so you can add a backstory um, yeah very deep um, give him a name uh, this is not important um, you can add notes here these notes are the same as these um, you can paste an URL to a, an image or you can set the part right here um, and as a bard he gets a couple of spells so let's get let's give him um, bard spells so you can access uh, in in this menu library you can access uh, what's ar already loaded I will cover this in another video because I will change it but you can open the bard spells and give it like dancing lights and um, vicious mockery Two cantrips, four spells. Uh, charm person, healing word. 
um, sleep and oh dash is hideous at not loaded let's 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 load it so hmm it doesn't work if it's not yeah oh no here it is uh, it will detect that it's missing so we, we can edit it here um, the player cannot edit I will it probably a good idea to allow players to edit so I will change it later but he has his spells so let's create Tasha's hideous laughter Do I have it here? Uh, Tasha. Yeah, it's uh, is is it in the SRD? How do you say um, Hideous last there, yeah. So let's let's copy this. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, well. Let, let's make sure. make sure it's not here because the way the yeah it's uh, whatever I just copy this and paste and it will probably um this is in the SRD it will probably work yeah kinda um, it's a first level spell enchantment okay so this is enough you can make it pretty like um, this one like this but for now this works that's good enough you see um, it detects that it is a first level spell so good enough um, back to the player view uh, since I made a change, you can hit refresh, and here it is. Um, character created. Um, new spell, new monster. Okay, so uh, some monsters are not in the. You can you can find the monsters available here in the library. Uh, creature list and here will be all the SR SRD creatures um, uh, these ones were made by um,
these ones are made by Rookbat. Uh, I imported them and I am um, fixing a couple a couple things, uh, making uh, it a little bit um, um, beautiful and well edited. But he did a great job imparting them, um, and you can use them. Uh, if you click create token it will open this window and place it here um, from here you can edit it but I'm not here to show how to edit I'm here to show how to create new so um, This creature, the Flame School, is not uh, in the SRD, but it is in the basic rules, so I will use it. Um, you can you can make a token uh, and click here NPC and it will set it as an NPC. You can select a already existing one, but since there is no flame schools in the list, I can add new. Here I will call it flame school. Did I? Yeah, that's right. And leave this blank. You can paste um, a JSON file, a JSON text, but you, but you can also leave it blank. Um, and here is our our flame school. It's empty, so let's get to starting. Get to editing. So here's a uh, undead. Uh, the size you can set it here. Uh, tiny. Uh, you can set the token to be the one in the creature um, and set a couple other things like um, it has damage resistances damage immunities and just that this, you can set the sources so it's uh, it's in the monster manual. Okay, so sources here. Mm. You can set it as tiny. Um, so it will update here. Tiny on that. Okay, let's keep going. Neutral Evil, plus 13, hit points, you can just copy it. Uh, this is the default from the creature, but you can set a, a custom oh, 40, yeah, that's pretty average. Damage. Uh, speed. Oh. Um, one seventeen fourteen. Uh, 16, 10, 11, 16, 10, 11, okay. oh, there is also skills, so let's go back, skills, skills are showing, you can just copy, uh, 
uh, damage resistances, damage immunities, condition immunities. I forgot that one too, so conditions, okay. Census. Languages. Challenge. Okay. Uh, you can copy all these and paste it up here, features. Um, I like to give some editing just to make it similar. Um, this is good enough, but you can. Uh, Edit uh, more, like um, make this uh, five uh, and have links to spells here. So spells. And so on. Uh, let's give fireball one just to show higher level casting skills. Fireball. Okay. So this will you can make a spell attack here. Um, and you can, oh, uh, let's make it prettier. Okay, uh, so you can have links to the to the spells here. You can draw dice. Um, and you can use higher level spells. Uh, flame schools don't have spells higher than three, but if you do, you can set it here, and you do throw eight d eight six plus six d six as the spell slot uh, allows. Um, Uh, the the flame school also has a couple actions, so copy it. Uh, so these are actions. Move attack. And the and the automations. So oh, no, uh, it five. Oh, okay. So we can make a text like this and throw the damage uh, if if 
Uh, this creature doesn't have reactions, legendary actions, lair actions, but you can you can add it, add them here. Just change the title and paste the content. Uh, so uh, this flame skull is ready. Um, oh just for uh, you can add resources here to, to keep track of uh, uh, it has three slots of first level um, second level two slots and third, third level, uh, one slot, okay. So you can keep track of these slots here. Um, and once you complete uh, these spells, um, the this monster is ready, so you can uh, add more. If you delete it, you can search it from here. Flame school. Uh, you can create a new one, and it will be created here, just like uh, the one you just did. Um, new monsters, okay. Uh, okay, I, uh, now I will um, prepare uh, a quick adventure. I will show how I like to do it. Um, let's say I will create a new map and I will use this one uh, Hidden, Hidden Thieves Guild. So Give it a name. Good. That's how. It, yeah. Um, and leave it square. You can change the background, but it, does, it doesn't really matter. So this is the new map. Uh, you can. You can. Uh, hide it from players so they don't see it here. Um, I like to have um, grid visible, so show grid. Uh, and for now I will leave the fog of war disabled. Um, so I will just uh, I will go to the background layer and drag this image. So the the grid doesn't match. So one thing you can do is auto resize and select a couple like um, one, two, three. Ah, okay. Uh, auto resize from here to here. One, two, three. Okay, and it will. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, let's do it again. Auto resize from here to here. And this is three cells by three. Okay, now it should. Uh, it's, it's still not perfect. So I like to align in the top left and go to the bottom right and make the 
adjust it so it fits perfectly. Uh, okay, you can leave the leave the background layer and disable the grid. <coughs> so after I paste and align the grid, I like to set the vision blocking layer. So I like to use this one for. I will not make the entire map because this will take time but I can um, if I click with the left mouse button oh, uh, if I hold control and click with the left mouse button it will snap to the grid um, and if I if I click with the middle mouse button it will make a uh, an anchor um, uh, we will place a line and keep keep placing lines so middle mouse middle mouse uh, um, since I like to have the wind uh, the wall visible I will release the control and place the the door the the point here and here and back to holding control um, and when I finish I uh, let's let's say oh let's um, do it like this this the detail here I will trace like this doesn't need to be perfect I just like to uh, have both sides of the wall visible to the player um, by the way I picked up this map on reddit uh, on the battle mats subreddit they have amazing maps and they are all free I, I, and you can most of the map make per, map makers oh uh, most of the map makers have a patreon so you can support them uh, I, I accidentally left it clicked so it placed the lines uh, no worries I can keep doing this okay finish it the entire perimeter uh, I will probably not do everything, so let's do a couple more rooms. Left click, middle click, middle, uh, left click, left click, mid, left click, left click, middle click left click uh, so you can keep going forever until you are happy with your visual blocking uh, vision blocking um, I will I will stop I will stop here um, now uh, I also like to um, close the parameter so that the players don't see the background 
Um, if there is any other information that you want hidden, you can do it with uh, vision blocking. Now uh, let's make some doors. Okay, I will make two doors. Um, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, five doors. Five doors and one secret door. So one way to do it is add uh, custom objects. Um, so I have I made these doors. I made these doors. Uh, so I can make them uh, size uh, large so I can place them here and open and close here but first I need to make uh, vision blocking for them so I like to make it like this and then you go to the token uh, VBL and move VBL from map. So it will pick that line and, memor and store it here. Uh, if you go back to the VBL, you can cut this. To remove, you can, uh, if, you, if you just left click you 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 create more but you can remove by pressing shift so shift and remove this will not remove the the one in the token so i can place the token here and remove the vbl that's the door is covering so the player will uh, depending if the door is open or closed the player will see or not see um, I can copy this door since the vision blocking layer is already set so it will remember I place it here same to this, this door, and this one, uh, and erase the, the 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 part that is not is visible is uh, this the the static part. For our secret doors, what I like to do is similar. I, I pick um, a letter. I made these. So, upper S. Um, I place them on the hidden layer. And I remove snap to grid. Uh, so and make uh, size I make them free size <laughs> to rotate them like that you uh, hold shift and um, sc scroll your mouse you can also hold shift and control to rotate uh, slower uh, or smoother so I, I like to have them in the direction of the wall I place them here let me see yeah I make it a little bit smaller I place them here and I have these uh, down here um, macros so I hit um, 
hit show hide token just to make it more transparent and just like the door I will open it move VBL from map and here you have a secret door uh, if the players uh, ever find it you can move it away or delete it or whatever now I just need to um, yeah that's that's good enough perfect um, so this is how it looks for now um, now I like um, back to planning so the VBL are already set so I will set the room so this is room 1 Uh, and I can open this menu and click pins set one token as pin yes okay so this will make it big uh, transparent and for the player it will be invisible and um, it will put, uh, create these macros so you can from here you can uh, give experience uh, select uh, pay, uh, store items uh, store treasure and paste notes I will cover this in a bit let me just make room 2 pin ok Three, pin, okay, and four. Pin, okay. Um. Let's say. Uh, let let me just um, add a couple more lines here. So this room and this room also exist. Um, uh, I will not add these doors. Okay, uh, just this um, five. some monsters so I will uh, place uh, the flame scrolls one flame skull here um, oh, once once you are happy with these you can click send to hidden so they will be in the hidden layer and will not be click clickable so we have one 
how strong is the flame school? Oh, very strong for a level one. So one is good enough. Uh, a couple bandits. So bandit in the reception a couple bandits here another one here another one here okay um i can go to the now now that the monsters are set i can go back to here and i i like to um, uh, add some notes so I, I will I will open this notebook and call it um, this build uh, one this build save so from here I can uh, I can write like a uh, one. Um, so, sure. um, I can make this a link to the pin, so I write it like this. Uh, pin uh, one at uh, is build. This is the name of the map, and this is the name of the token. Uh, so when I click here, it will center and select this pin. So if you were not in the hidden layer, you can still access to the to the notes here by clicking here uh, let's make um, a couple more there are five so two three four five so Can put this here to take less space and this one here so I have a more space for my map so two is uh, even, even more, uh, um, Um, girls, girls, and and boys, and girl. so three and four, and five, six, lab. Add your notes. So, Uh, uh, 
um, then, then we did um, Has a uh, fifteen gold. and um, three hundred gold. He did. Um, guy in the magic knife. Um, secret room. So um, let, let's let's edit, let's change a little bit more. Uh, so you can add links here. So NPC. Make a link to the magic knife here. So right. um, banger. Um, it's not a normal dagger. It's a plus one dagger. Plus two. Link to the bandit um, uh, stat block. So do this, and this one to the same school. Um, but I like to add these notes, some of these notes here. So experience so I can set experience here um, no no items treasure um, 200 gold okay next uh, hidden door room um, so Fifteen XP because there are two guys. 
um, no treasure, no whatever. I can add a note. Oh, also. What's wrong here? What's going on? Okay. Um, girls room. So, experience points twenty five. Items, um, nothing, 15, I will leave 15 here and if the players find the rest I, I will distribute later. Um, boys room, no guys here, experience point 25 items uh, I will make a new item so um, it will be basically a dagger So it's a frost dagger. It's a simple weapon, melee weapon. Finesse and it can be thrown. Uh, it deals two D four. Actually, uh, it's a um, finesse weapon, so strength or dex. Um, and it's frost dagger, so it deals cold, cold damage. Um, and it's a plus one, so let's. It's a plus two. Let's give it. Two. Um, okay. So item. Oh, it's. it's a frost dagger. Huh, for some reason, it's not showing. Why? I don't know. Uh, it's probably because of some new changes. Okay, no worries. Um, and no gold. And finally, the secret room. We'll have these. And um, I will add them. The, the, the idea is already already there. So notes. Okay. Um. This is set. So let's. 
Um, let, let me see if I'm forgetting anything. Um, setting VBL, setting pins, writing content, setting NPCs. Okay, let's let's run the game. Um, if I click, oh, let's first um, set it to um, player visible. No, let's let's. Um, oh yeah, fog of war. Yes. Fog of war. Okay, and I will click here. Um, in move tokens so it will move all the players that are in the start map so it's, if you have five players it will paste all of them here move them to the entrance and let's see let's split this in in half so um, I, uh, after I move tokens, I can click set. Oh, let's make it visible to the players first. So player visible, and now. I click set map so the player will be set to this map um, now I can expose fog um, and this is what the player sees so he can walk around and I will expose fog as the player move I can use the F3 shortcut to make it faster so I was pressing the wrong button. Um, and the player decides he wants to open the door. So he comes here. I will go to the hidden layer, object layer, and open the door for him and expose the fog. Uh, he decides to go in, I expose the fog and I make this bandit visible by pressing F2 with the token selected and combat starts. So for, for now I will go back to full screen because I will need every space I can get so I ask the player to roll initiative uh, for combat he can use just mm, mm, this is not good well uh, I will fix that, but for now I will uh, keep the character sheet here uh, and I can uh, hide it here so it doesn't take too much space. I will ask for the player to roll initiative, so he will click here. And this is what the player sees. Uh, okay. But what the GM sees is uh, this set initiative. So if I go to the initiative and click here, it will already set here. So I can roll initiative for the uh, bandit and set it. And the, 
player will see the initiative but will not see the dice rolls so the player takes a turn um, he is the first so he will attack the bandit oh I forgot the proficiencies so he is proficient with simple weapons and right here Yeah, that's what's wrong. He's I have to put it under weapons, so simple weapons and up here. Now he's proficient, so he makes an attack. Fifteen. It hits, so he make he rolls damage. Four, great. Uh, so I can click the number, choose the target, um, it's bandit, so uh, choose the value, damage, okay, uh, and the bandit takes the damage. Mm, now is the bandit's turn, he will make an attack. He um, misses, so it's the player again. Oh, yeah, and they have to be melee distance to fight, but uh, details, details. Let's say he hits and he throws the damage. I can click it. Bandit, okay. He's almost dead. Now it's the bandit. He hits. Two damage. Oh, and the player cannot see this row, so to make it easier for him, I can share the result. And he can click the number. Choose the target and take the damage. You see his HP is lower and so is well its HP is lower and so is this bar. Um, now it's the player's turn. Um, the player will hit. It hits. He will throw the damage, 5, and the bandit is dead. So I can say he's dead. And the combat is over. Now, um, I can go back to uh, this menu and open the, open the party menu from here. I will see the player, uh, all the players that on this map, their levels, their HP, I can change it, their gold, their conditions, the, their XP, I can create pools, I covered it in the last video, so I will not in this one, uh, I can load the pin from this room, which is pin number one, and click load. It will uh, load the 200 gold and 25 XP in this room. 
so the player has no XP if I click distribute it will give everything to him so if there was an NPC or more PCs um, it will distribute equally and, I, and then I can distribute the gold so he has 210 and nothing left in the pin so if I click if I click let's open the the dungeon again so if I click here and open the notes uh, there is no experience points and no treasure uh, left um, Uh, let's okay let's go back to exploration mode so I will uh, never mind I will keep it like this so the player decides to come here so I will reveal the expose the fog uh, he opens this door so I oh, wrong map, wrong window. Uh, so he says I will open this door. So I go to the hidden layer, the objects layer, and open the door and expose the fog and show the creatures. Combat happens, the player miraculously wins. So, um, dead. And this one's fled, so he's not visible. And the player decides to. Uh, search for a hidden door so I will ask him to make a perception check nine uh, let's say it's good enough he finds a hidden door so I just go to the hidden layer and move I can place it like this so the so it it won't bother anyone like this or I can delete it can move it anywhere and expose fog so the player sees the hidden door um, back to the token layer and, and then he dies um, that's how I like to run uh, an encounter what else do we have uh, running the game treasure and XP so just a quick um, note uh, let's say um, the guy with the magic knife so the items are not working but I will fix, fix it uh, basically how um, this will work is uh, like if there are two players uh, one of them can can open uh, the, the happier for example and click move then let's give them different names so this is the not player this is happy. Uh, so from here you can this is the pin so from here I can move and give it to the player one okay and it will remove the happier from here 
and move it to the player so he has he should have to but uh, I should fix this later this is a disaster let's say uh, ice oh, what's the frost dagger okay let's give him this item so I will move it to the player select the player okay and the player should have the data here it is um, so it will work basically the same way so you there is there will be a list of items you click here oh, I guess you could do from from here to accept uh, except it's not it's not right so let's edit here also first dagger item first dagger okay now it's it's fine so if I move it and give it to the player uh, it should work properly it's giving a error message so I don't know why I will fix it I will get this fixed but that's how we will distribute magic items or loot in general except for gold um, <coughs> let's go back to my stupid script Okay, um, let's say you want to, uh, you loved this, um, you loved this eating, you think you can, you want to share it with others, and you also made the flame school and made uh, a lot of things so you want to you want to share it so you can go to this menu or or you want to use in other adventures whatever whatever the reason you can come here and equipment and you can export and if you do this you will export everything so maybe you don't want to export everything maybe you have made uh, some material that is not uh, SRD and you don't want to get into trouble so you want to remove this and export just the dagger so for first let's let me open the dagger again um, give it a, a source it will be a my home blue. Okay. So this is the new source. And the flame school already has monster manual. Okay. Uh, so from you can if you want to remove everything, and if you do that, be sure to. Um, have backups of your content so I have it um, here these are all the feeds all the equipment so I there is no no problem removing anything so I will remove everything except my room homebrew 
I will apply. Uh, are you sure you wanted to remove this content? Okay, yes. This will take some time. Um, uh, it's it's done, so I can open this window again. And as you can see, I have just one item. It that is the the frost dagger that I created. I can export. Um, give it a name. So my okay uh, so if I go back to that folder I have here my homebrew equipments and it has just one item uh, I can from this window I can import back the equipment so I copy it and paste it and here it is everything back and my home brew is still here um, and here's the all the items um, oh I just lost the I just lost the flame school. So if you don't have if you don't have anything here, um, your your creatures will be empty. So zero everything uh, and uh, and everything is completely empty. So I probably should have saved this flame school that I created, but I can easily create it back. Um, <coughs> also, if you create uh, resources, you can share with people and uh, make it uh, better. Uh, exporting. Oh another thing you can do so let's um, let's create this flame school again um, <coughs> I will not make it make everything I will just uh, give it a couple st stats just to show another another way to share uh, so I can uh, uh, inst cl click here and make it a an instance. was already an instance so I will make it uh, it's a tiny creature it's uh, in the monster manual um, it has a couple stuff also it's not in the most um, it's not exactly the same creature so you call it uh, on the again okay so then 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 um and now I'll make it an instance okay so if I go here the best cherry has a couple flame skulls I can remove them and since this creature is an instance it will 
not lose its data. So we can save it, uh, save it. Um, let's put in the desktop. Okay, save. And let's save. <coughs> let's save this character to save. Uh, the desktop okay so if I create a new game or if I lose these creatures I can easily um, can easily add them from here you can also transfer from one game to another yeah I need to fix this and here it is uh, it will not show in the it will not show in this bestiary but you can add it by setting removing the instance and hitting OK, it will ask for a name. Um, score. Okay, and now it's back to being an instance, so we can create a new. Some, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. It doesn't have a name. So let's open it. I'll name it. Game school. Okay. Now, now it should work. So if I open here and create, what's wrong with you? Yeah, this should be fixed too. Yeah, that's a bad idea to record a tutorial with stuff broken, but um, and in the adventure, exporting content, importing content, content replacing the company. Oh yeah, another, another. So everything. Let me. Um, so I will open here, uh, it's connect from server, I will open here uh, the default uh, framework and I will save this compendium in the desktop. Oh yeah, the name must be Does not have so here it is um, in this uh, default library I have everything um, from the SRD well not everything but I'm, I'm still adding content um, so in, in, the, in this one I have basically nothing because I deleted in the in via this menu so what I can do is remove this uh, library and replace it with this one so if I go back here everything will be replaced um, this is one way to upgrade from uh, older versions or um, uh, if you make an adventure and you want to share your content you can do it like this but if you do it you will lose um, custom content so it's better to 
go in every one of these and export individually uh, the, the the categories um, but that's another way to do it <laughs> and also you can let's if you want to use this map again you can hide these dudes um, set them as alive the hidden doors reset the fog and you can export this map map uh, export. Oh, also, just just to make everything complete. So, these this text, this adventure is in this lib library, this notebook library. So I will cut it and paste it here, just outside the outside the player's view. And I can uh, map, export map, desktop, okay, map saved. So if I go to a, if I, I can share it with people, so if, I, if I'm in this map and there is no adventure, just a bunch of um, A bunch of uh, content, uh, equipment, and monsters. I can um, I can import map. Go to where I imported it, exported it. Open. Yes, and here it is. The map with um, the vision blocking layer, the NPCs, the hidden doors, the doors, the map, it's, um, it's it, the grid is already set and you can, since the library, the notes are here, you can open it here and open it here and here you have it you can click everything works except for the flame school that I stupidly deleted uh, this tutorial is probably already too long and I already faced a lot of um, bugs that I will fix. So let's let's stop it here. Oh, one one extra thing that I wanted to mention: you can create a 
custom dice rolls by dragging these dice here to the global or to a token to whatever and edit it uh, let's say this is a 2d6 plus 3 and it is a great sword uh, apply so it will create a macro like this and you can click it and it will roll the way you set um, the player can do that the GM can do that uh, it's another way to make custom custom dice rolls when everything else fails mm, and for now that's it I'm sorry for the long video I'm sorry for the bugs and thank you for all the feedback and all the um, uh, all the support see you in the next video